You ready? Let's do this thing. Today, we're going to do a review on Amy Dog Dryer. The link on Amazon is listed below. Before I begin, I want you to know I haven't been paid to do this review. But as you will see, it either dries your dog or not. This dog dryer comes with four attachments. This one I'm using right now is the one I like the most. In addition to drying your dog, it also gets all that undercoat off. The bad thing is, it also gets all that undercoat off. But that's not a bad thing. Better outside than in your house. In fact, the best thing about this is, it's better than combing your dog because it does get all that excess hair out. And my dog jumps in the pool about every other day and he does need to be dried. Otherwise, he'll run in the house and jump on my bed. I've used a dog dryer for over 15 years now. What I like about this one is the four attachments. My other blow dryer is like leaf blow in your dog. With these four attachments, you can use the one that does the job the best, depending on the area you're working on. And you can also tell how enjoyable it is by the look on my face. The technique I use is to firmly press my lips together so hair doesn't go in my mouth. Of course, everyone has their own technique. And when you're finished, don't forget to use it on yourself. Unless you have a poodle-like dog, I don't recommend doing this in the house. I like it. I like this better than my other one. I give this uh, five stars. Now I also must explain, you have to have a dog that's willing to let you do this. My dogs do. However, my daughter wasn't that fond of it when she was little. So if you need an industrial sized dog blower, I recommend you get this Amy dog blower. After all, it's 4.3 horsepower. My pull pump's only a one and a half horsepower and it cost me $400. My next review will undoubtedly be how to get all the dog hair out of my pool. That's it for now. We'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.